Brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you about something today that's been bugging me for a few months now. And when I first came across this situation, this case, I was going through social media on my phone and I came across a news article. And the first time I saw it, I thought, you know what? It's probably just a one-off situation. I'll let it slide. I won't kick up a fuss about this. But then it happened again and again and again. And I thought to myself, all right, something is going on here. I need to ask people about it. So, Ilmfeed family, I'm asking you about it. I want you to tell me why, okay? You might, have a, you might have some insight into this. You might have thought about it in a different way to how I thought about it. You might be able to help me out here. I want you to tell me why. Why so many major news outlets have decided to publish articles about coronavirus and at the same time, use images of Muslims as the headline image for that article when the article itself has very little to do with Muslims specifically. Let me give you an example. Take this article for it, for example here, right? This is by the BBC. This is an article which links coronavirus to the loss of smell. And they decided that the main image to use for this article was the image of a Muslim woman smelling a plant. It seems innocent at first, but you have to ask yourself this, my brothers and sisters. When these news outlets look for images for their articles, oftentimes they will go to stock image websites where they can find thousands and millions of images, right? You do a search and then you get loads of images that you can pay to use. But whoever authored this article decided that the best image for them to use was an image that's not only gender specific, but also religious identity specific as well. Why? What's the purpose? That's what I want to know. If you guys can give me an answer to that question, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to know your insight. That's one example. We have another example here of a news article which highlights the chaos that ensues when you arrive at immigration at Heathrow Airport in London. The article talks about how there's no social distancing taking place at the immigration desk in Heathrow Airport, which is a good thing to highlight. You know, social distancing is a, is a thing that we should be promoting right now to help stop the spread of coronavirus. The problem that I have is that the publisher of this article decided the best image to use was an image where the central focus is Muslim women. What I find funny about this image, my brothers and sisters, is that around these Muslim women, you can very clearly see there's a, very, there's a large group of people who do not look Muslim. The people that were picked out and highlighted was the hijab abaya wearing Muslim women. Why? What's the purpose? And this isn't the only article to do it. There's another article which talks about enforcing uh, tighter restrictions in northern parts of the UK. Local councils being allowed to implement tougher restrictions in northern parts of the UK. Why? What's the purpose here? And then when talking about the coronavirus in Scotland, they decided to use the image of a Muslim being checked for a high temperature in a mosque. A mosque that's no doubt taken extra precautions to ensure that it stops the spread of coronavirus and is doing things right. When did it become the case that it's okay to use the image of Muslims and connect it so heavily to the coronavirus pandemic. Can someone enlighten me on this, please? Well, maybe I'm just the one that's confused, but I don't see the link. I don't see the link between Muslims and coronavirus, and I don't see why these news outlets insist on using images of Muslims when talking about coronavirus in cases that don't specifically relate to Muslims. What is the point? I'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment. Let us know about any other articles that you may have come across where the image of Muslims has been used in a story about coronavirus where, you know, it's hardly related to Muslims in any way. I'd love to hear what you have to say. My brothers and sisters, make sure you share this video and make sure you subscribe to Ilm Feed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.